Hello, I want to talk today about how to train transformers with audio as if it was text. And for this, there exist several tokenization methods, like to take audio and get it into discrete codes, train your transformer, and then later, like when it predicts these audio tokens, get it back to audio signal. And uh, Snack is a very new one which is super cool because it can uh, compress like speech to around uh, 80 tokens per second in a pretty good quality for speech and um, music and sound effects in general purpose audio like together with speech as well um, to around 160 170 um, tokens per second this means like if we have 80 tokens per second around this then we can have like uh, in 8,000 tokens, which is today, nowadays, quite normal, um, almost two minutes. Like we, we can fit into like a, a good transformer, like mixed for, for example, easily like uh, several minutes of full audio with all the nuances of like people and how they are talking and so, or we could uh, fit in like two minutes of music um, into like into mixed trill, for example. Yeah, so uh, I will show you not only how to use this here, but I will show you how to flatten it in a way that you like that can directly put it into whatever transformer, uh, GPT, Mistral, Llama, to um, fine tune it. I've made collab notebooks for this, but before I go to this, I want to explain the idea. So here you have some audio. And you get it into chunks that are like 100 milliseconds or 90 milliseconds in this order of magnitude. And they are represented with one very coarse, rough token. And then you have like for this rough token, for the more fine-grained details, two tokens on the layer below. And then you have for each of those, again, two tokens and so on. For the general purpose audio, like 32 and 44k, you have um, like four layers, and each layer has twice as many as uh, the layer before. And for uh, the 20, 24k, the, the speech only codec, which is pretty good for speech, you have um, only three layers. So the, the beautiful thing about this is. This is only 20 million parameters and will run at like decently fast on a mobile, I guess, or on a crappy old laptop. So if we would have like a transformer model that could understand these audio tokens as well as text, it could just like for a text query generate like audio tokens as a response and send it to you over API. And um, you could just decode it quickly on your old crappy laptop or mobile and this could be super cool for providing um, text-to-speech to users to end users all over the world even in the developing countries so we are working on a voice assistant for education and we are very very keen to get this deployed uh, also like in developing nations like Vietnam, Pakistan, Bangladesh, India like for the poorer people who cannot afford a good education so this would be pr I, I have not tested it but I'm sure this will run decently fast, the decoding of the audio tokens, on a five or six years old mobile, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's basically the, the overview, and now I'll go to the scroll-up I made for the speech-optimized version. Um, I will quickly go through this because I want to go to the playground with my kids, and it's nice weather, the weather outside. Um, but here, yeah, so you, you install it, you download a few dummy files here um, for testing. This is the original. Once, Once when I was, I was six, six years, years old, old, I saw, I a, saw magnificent a magnificent picture. picture. Now we have reverb because my microphone is still on. I will switch it up. Once when I was six years old, I saw a magnificent picture. So now my microphone should, microphone should be on again. I uh, spe specifically made a hotkey. Work. Yeah, technology. Uh, yeah, and now the reconstruction. 
Once when I was six years old, I saw a magnificent picture. So for me, this sounds basically identical. Here's another sample. This is the original. Break to the ground. I want to go to the middle of the night. I want to piss on his ashes. Stop crying. Break to the ground. I want to go to the middle of the night. I want to piss on his ashes. Stop crying. So I would say like the reconstruction uh, is has less reverb and loses some some background noise details but yeah this is actually not bad for a voice assistant i guess <laughs> so um ah yeah this is music like what happens if you throw music into the speech only codec <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I, I mean like you could probably still recognize what this is about, that, that this is some kind of synth melody. Um, for just understanding the context in a conversation for a voice agent this should be enough, but if you want a better quality you would have to go here to um, general purpose 32k kilohertz uh, version so uh, let's let's try something here piano this is with reverb <laughs> and now the reconstruction Yeah, so like, I mean, it still suffers a little bit, but hey, I mean, uh, there is another version, like the 44k kilohertz version, and this should be significantly better. I have to admit, I have not tested it, because on my laptop um, speakers, this sounded <laughs> almost the same as this one, but uh, now I'm hearing it like on a little bit better screen with better boxes. So I would say, yeah, there's still some some significant loss, but it's it's okay. Like for like, I mean, try it with the 44k kilohertz version, and I'm sure it will be uh, significantly better. So let's go back to this notebook here that I made, um, and I will put these notebooks in the description. So you basically put in like a wave sample, and you um, get it in and then you get the codes. This is a list of tensors and this is a reconstructed audio. You can directly save the reconstructed audio. Um, here the um, duration is identical. Later you will realize after uh, flattening it in the way that I propose and reconstructing it for some reason um, it gets a little bit more it's a uh, silence at the end, like, I don't know, like, it's it doesn't change the actual uh, reconstruction of the input, it just adds some silence at the end, so, uh, yeah, I think this is not really important. Um, if you want to fix this and have a good fix, then let me know. Um, <clears throat> so, this is basically here, these three tensors that we have here, the first has 37, dimensions this uh, 74 and 148 um, now I have this function to flatten it and I convert it into this list and I insert these separator strings so that later I can see where the new chunk begins because this basically like does something like a, a depth first expansion of like uh, the most coarse chunk, like 90 milliseconds or 100 milliseconds or whatever, so that we uh, can say, if we take only this, once this is generated, and we uh, reconstruct it to audio, we will get, um, 
like we, we can re reconstruct this, decode this independently of whatever gets generated later. And this will allow streaming uh, with low latency. So basically what I do here is um, I take this node here, this, this token, then I take this token, and then I take this token, then this, then this, because these two belong to this to uh, token here, on the uh, less fi fine level. And then I have all of this uh, branch here, so I will take this token, then I take this token, then I take this token. So I have this branch here of my tree or whatever I want to call this. Then I take this token here, I take this, this, and this, this token, this and this. And I initially tried to get this done with GPT-4, but it uh, screwed. Then I tried to code it myself with some loops and I was uh, tired and was in the at night. And then on the next day I just decided to hard code it. <laughs> Screw it. Yeah, so like basically uh, here is the, the reconstruction and uh, this detects um, if we have like the 24 kilohertz version with only seven tokens for one uh, 90 millisecond or 100 millisecond segment and this is 15 tokens for one segment like for one of these branches here and um, yeah I feed it in I reconstruct it I put here the reconstructed codes in that I got from this list and get audio hat and audio hat then um, gets saved. Here you can see there's a small mismatch, a few milliseconds. This is yeah, just silence. I just checked it in Audacity and it doesn't matter. So this is the reconstruction from my flattened list. <laughs> Once when I was six years old, I saw a magnificent picture. Once when I was six years old, I saw a magnificent picture. So for me, I don't hear a difference. I don't know. There might be people with better ears. <laughs> you can do like some tricks. You can uh, just skip every second time step. And then you like by, by simply uh, putting this here to 16. Or uh, if you would be dealing with um, the 32k kilohertz version, you would have to put here a 32. And then uh, it sounds like this. One time it was six years old, I saw like this in picture. One time it was six years old, I saw like this in picture. Yeah, and you can also decide to just set the lowest level. In this case, we don't have this level for the 24 kilohertz version, so we only have these three. And if I set these values here to one or to whatever, uh, it sounds like. So these are ones, and if I put it to random shapes, then I so so uh, many here are random now. Once when I was six years old, I saw a magnificent picture. This is mostly interesting, but I think it could be helpful if you want to do uh, t a speech to text and you don't care about like the fine nuances of the speech, you just want the transcription of whatever is being said, then you could just skip <laughs> the lowest level. And uh, I think it will also learn right, right to write, write down the text from this. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, so basically we want to turn many, many publicly available um, speech data sets to, to snack tokens and later we could think about free music archive and whatever and just upload it 
to uh, Hugging Face so that people can just download it in this form here and uh, experiment with fine-tuning Llama 3 and Mistral and Phi and whatever you like. So you could try and in interleave manner that you have, for example, um, some text, then you predict from the text this here, or you could have like the first half of the discussion in text and then the second half of the discussion without any transcriptions, just continue the discussion in snack tones. And I would just, I wouldn't even change the vocabulary, I would just like put in something like here, um, audio begins, and then put your snack tokens here, and then in the end, audio ends, or whatever you like. <laughs> and then we, uh, yeah, yeah, someone could just repurpose other tokens, maybe take a random token for this, and for this code another token, and for this code another token, so it learns um, to repurpose other existing tokens that are already in the vocabulary. As long as it is in the side of this span, it has a different meaning, it means some something related to audio. So I'm really super bullish on this, and um, I want to go out now, enjoy the nice weather, and hope you want to help us and reach out to me uh, or our Discord server. And yeah, hope to hear from you soon.